All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about how to scale your analog input cards, right? So these will be analog input cards and scaling the engineering units based upon the input to the actual card. Now, keep in mind, everybody has different analog input cards, so yours is gonna be slightly different from everybody else's, and that depends on your setup, right? Every, like, so for instance, mine's gonna be a Control Logics platform, Control Logics chassis, you may be on a compact logics or you may be using remote IO. Every specific card is designed is designed directly for that platform or that that setup, right? So when it comes down to it, I am using, I'll show you right here, this is 1756-IF8, right? Though this card is in my backplane. You'll know because it'll be in your backplane. You're gonna click, basically open up properties, and in your properties, you're going this is where you're gonna scale things. So in this specific card, I have four inputs. I have channel zero, channel one, channel two, channel three. In channel zero, I'll show you this right here. Now this specific card, and your card is gonna be different, right? You can change your inputs and outputs, right? You, are, you can change your scaling. Um, I can change from voltage to current. Now changing voltage to current, I would have to change the wiring on the terminal block of that specific card. So keep that in mind. You would have to change the wiring. Um, now, in this being said, I'm going to talk about voltage first, and then we'll come back and talk about current in, in a, just a second. But just know this is where you change, uh, like your scaling, right here. Your input scaling, like whatever device you're using, could be actually, you know, using, you know, negative 10 to positive 10 volts, or it could be using zero volts to five volts, or it could be using like a speed uh, or like a potentiometer, like I'm using zero volts to 10 volts now in that case i'm going to talk about the zero to 10 volts so that's the easiest to scale i'm going to talk about that now i'm not going to change anything on the sensor offset because generally speaking that will affect the end result of your zero point and you don't want to do that now um, there are instances where you may end up putting an offset in there and that'd be very very minute uh, amount, but that would be based upon your noise or electrical noise that you would have in your environment for that sensor. Now, keep in mind too, in your engineering units, let's talk about the engineering units and what you could put. Now, this is just a name, right? So this is just the name I put, engineering units and then dash percentage. So I'm gonna put percentage. So you can see that populate over here. Now. With this said, this this signal, the the every time a point point in time where it says signal, the high signal, which is the high input going to the card from the field device, going to the actual card I have, right, and going to your card, the high point, which is 10, 10 volts, right, is going to be equal to a hundred. So a hundred and percentage. I'm I'm saying this is going to be if I have 10 volts, that's a hundred percent. If I have zero volts, that's zero percent. So the scaling in the in the meantime, right? So if I if I have ten volts, again, I'm going to have a maximum of a hundred. Now I can change the scaling based upon whatever I want to, but in this case, I'm using it in percentages, especially for an easy example. Let's come in here and actually talk about this a little bit deeper. So if I have ten volts to my input card, right, from the field device, it's going to be a hundred volt. Or it's going to be a hundred percent. If I have five volts into my input card from the field device, it's gonna be 50%. If I have 2.5 volts, it's gonna be, uh, again, to my input card, right? It's gonna be 25. If I have zero, uh, and this should be volts, I have zero volts, then it's gonna be zero. Okay, so that's an easy way to understand, understand the scaling behind that. Right, so we're gonna actually talk about the, now we're gonna go at and talk about milliamps. I wanna talk about milliamps too, and then I'm gonna show you a live example of the speed, the potentiometer as well. So let's talk about milliamps real quick. In milliamps, I can set this to current, but I, can, I my card, your card may be able to set to zero milliamps to 20 milliamps. My card can only set to, uh, or your card may be able to set also to, to four to 20. Generally speaking, the industry uses four to 20. In this card, I can only scale between zero to 20 milliamps. So in this card, I'm saying, okay, my name again, I can scale my zero right here, or my, my high point, which is 20 milliamps, I'm gonna put in 20,000. 
Now I could again use that as percentage if I wanted to, like 100%, but in this case I'm showing you zero would be two, uh, 20,000. In this case of a low input, right, zero milliamps would be zero. So how would that look again? So let's come over here and let's look at that again. So if I had 20 milliamps into the input card, it would equal 20,000. If I had five milliamps into the input card, it would equal 5,000, right? So just keep that in mind. If I had 2.5 milliamps into the card, it's gonna be 2,500. If I had zero milliamps, it's gonna be zero milliamps, right? So with that said, again, if I had 10 volts or 10, uh, 10 milliamps, Let's just say 10 milliamps. Then again, you can easily tell that's going to be 10,000. 10,000. So, and that's the scaling. That's how that would be used. Now, you might be questioning yourself, how is this actually used, right? So, in this environment, I'm actually using this on channel three. Channel three, I have scaled, and my my spe specific trainer. What I had happen is I the way that everything's wired up. Um, it just happens to be that the voltage that I'm currently running zero to 10 volts DC, right? The voltage just happens to be the, the high voltage is 8.58. That's the high voltage. That's the voltage that, the maximum voltage that I'm getting to that card. And I want that equal to 60, because I'm gonna use that as a percentage that I wanna run to actual a uh, servo controller, right? And this is gonna be zero. So let me show you this actually in action. So again, this is channel three. So let's look at that. Channel three, local input card five, channel three. And you can, I want you to look at the scaling of this right here, okay? So as I rotate, as I rotate this potentiometer, it's gonna move up. Now the max, if I move it to maximum, you're gonna see it's gonna move to the maximum of 60. Now that's based upon this scaling that I currently have in there. Right, and 59.91, obviously, pretty, pretty, really, actually, really, really close. And I'm just using this as a speed reference. So I'm saying zero to 60, right? Uh, zero to 60 as in hertz, right? But I, I'm using this in a, uh, a servo trainer type situation. So if you keep in mind, again, looking at channel three, this is my actual setup. So at the maximum of the speed pot, I'm getting 60, I'm, and the minimum, I'm getting zero. So that's how that's used. Now I could, again, that this is basically, I'm using it as simple as it can be used. You may have your engineering units, again, at uh, like we showed before, which is uh, milliamps, and in your milliamps, you may have it set to, to uh, 20,000, or you may have it set to zero. There's many different ways to scale things based upon your situation. I'm showing you the way to scale it and how to do that just in in my application so it gives you a base understanding of how it's scaled and then how it's used could be used on many different platforms many different ways now again when it comes down to it if you want to see how the actual configuration and how the io is laid out you come over here to your controller tags and this is going to be channel or this is going to be local card five first i'm going to have my inputs right and then I can also look at my configuration for each channel. Like if I look at channel three configuration, you can see all the channel, all the, the stuff I have configured, right? So we, we said right here, this is gonna be my high signal and this is gonna be my high engineering units, right? And then we said my, again, we said the low signal and the low, low signal and low engineering units. So you see that same setup is in here. But again, that's just the configuration. If I looked at channel, which was channel one, which from my four to 20, you can see I have high engineering units at 20 milliamps would be 20,000. Again, so you can see that that's the configuration. Now the usage is the over here on the input, local input five, or local five input, right, or I. And then you can easily tell that the first one is going to be channel R, this is gonna be three right here. And currently you can see this input right here changing when I change the speed pot, right? The potentiometer that I'm currently using. So I just wanted to show you a rough illustration of that. So hopefully that was really helpful and that gave you a base understanding of how to scale your analog cards. And again, we will see you guys on the next one.